Hey everybody, I'm Jack from Jack's Meat Shack and today on the channel we're going to make something pretty special. We're going to make fish and chips, but in a taco. First thing we're going to do is make some beer batter. So it's going to be a really, really simple beer batter recipe. This is to serve maybe two people, so if you've got two bits of fish, this would probably do that. So all you need is 115 grams of flour, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of baking powder, and 150 ml of your favorite beer. So let's mix the ingredients together. So first thing in is our flour, just plain flour. Then we're gonna add in a teaspoon of our baking powder. This will help with some nice crispy batter. A teaspoon of salt. And then our liquid. So 150 ml beer. Oh, it's terrible. Never get a job in a bar without that. Jesus. All right, so let's settle down. So you want 150 ml of liquid, not froth, like I've done here. There we go. So our liquid into the dry ingredients. Gives a nice fizz. And then what we're gonna do is mix. And also, what I've done is set our fryer up already. So the oil is gonna be 160 degrees Celsius. Perfect, a nice light batter. How easy is that? And now we're on to our fish. We're just using cod, cheap cod from supermarket, nothing special because we're gonna add loads of flavor by dipping it in batter, frying it, a little bit of salt. It's gonna be amazing. We're not gonna do it whole because we wanna build these as a, build these as a taco. So if you haven't seen or heard of him, Sam the Cooking Guy, he's got a restaurant in San Diego called Not Not Tacos and basically he specializes in doing things that shouldn't really be in a taco. So like cheeseburger tacos. And it got me to thinking, what do I want in a taco? And I love fish and chips. So why not have a fish and chip taco? And that is what we're gonna do. So we're not gonna fry the cod whole. We're gonna cut it into smaller pieces because when you bite into that taco, you don't want a big hunk of cod, you want little bits. So that's what we're gonna do. So we've got our Kitchen towel, we're just gonna take off the excess, moist, uh, excess moisture. And the skin's already been taken off this cod as well. So, so you wanna take off the moisture because when you fry it, you don't want any liquid in that oil because it can cause it to bubble up and spit, which isn't good. So nice sharp knife. And we're just gonna cut this into smallish, squares not too small where it gets lost and not too big where you can't bite it in one bite so quite small bits of cod same with this just get rid of this weird bit on the side There we go, there we go, and same again. Okay, we are ready to fry. So we're not gonna be able to fit everything in the fryer at once. What we're gonna do first is our chips. So we're gonna give these their first fry. We're gonna fry these twice. 
the first one is going to make them cook inside and we're going to take them out then we're going to cook our fish put our fish on the rack keep it warm in an oven and then we're going to build our tortilla at the end so let's do this so chip straight in just a few at a time you don't want the oil to splash Okay, so our chips have had a couple of minutes now. The oil's at 170 degrees Celsius. So what we're gonna do now is take them off, let them rest, and then we're gonna fry our fish. I'm not gonna put them into a bowl because I don't want them to sweat. So we're just gonna put them onto this tray. Okay, so we're frying our chips for the second time now and they've got to the crispiness I want them at. So what we're going to do is get them into our bowl, loads of salt, just give them a toss. Lovely. Okay, so let's fry our fish. So we've got our cod, we're just going to place a few bits in at a time and coat a bit in our batter. Drain off the excess and then just lightly float it into our oil. There we go, three, four minutes, we'll be having fish. Okay, so our first batch of cods out, so we're just gonna season it with some salt. We'll get our second lot in. So it wouldn't be fish and chips without mushy peas. So to make your own mushy peas at home, it's pretty simple. Marrow fat peas, which are big fat peas, microwave them, knob of butter, salt, pepper, and mash. And that's literally what I've done here. Bowl of peas, knob of butter, salt and pepper, and then I'm just gonna mash them. And basically just get it to the consistency you want. Perfect. This is where all our hard work comes together now. So we've fried our fish, we've fried our potatoes, we've made our mushy peas. So we've got a nice flour tortilla and we're just gonna build our taco. Let's do it. So this is our fish and chip taco. It looks pretty beige, but I bet it's gonna taste, taste amazing. So start off with a nice big dollop of our mushy peas. Then we're going to go in with some of our chips and then some of our cod. Oh, beer, battered cod. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And then some more of our mushy peas on top.
and that is it. Tacos a la fish and chips from the meat shack. All the good things, chips, fried fish, mushy peas, what's not to like, check it out. And it wouldn't be fish and chips without ketchup. And today we're using something pretty special, brisket and barrels smoked ketchup, which is pretty damn awesome. Oh, chef's the hell out of this. Amazing. <laughs> 